the Gearheads, Jeff and JJ with GearReport.com. And we're uh, back. We're back from Shot Show 2017. All right, it was a long week, but we're back. The last day of Shot Show was Friday. Friday. Yes. Yeah. End of the day, we got on a plane, we came home, didn't have time to do the top five products. We found that day, the coolest things from SHOT Show. So here you have them. We're gonna run through them really quick here. Number one, thanks to my buddy, Adam. Adam the Wild Man from Southwest Virginia. He showed me his uh, Zenith MKE Z5P. You can find it at zenithfirearms.com. It's like an H&K MP5 that through some method they're able to produce. It's a semi-auto semi version. Um, we talked to Zenith. Unfortunately, they were already tearing the booth down when we got there, but uh, we didn't get footage there. But I did shoot it, and TJ shot it uh, at Industry Range Day, the first day before SHOT Show started. Um, seemed to do pretty good. We each put one mag through it. That was it, because within the next week or two, Zenith is sending one. Uh, so we'll have it here to give it a full workout. And they're sending one of their other rifles. Uh, not sure which one. Why don't you go check out their site? Leave us a comment what you think we uh, the other rifle should be that they sent. I say rifle. I think it's both pistols Pistol that they're sending. Um, but anyhow, let us know what you'd like to see while you're you know, while you're at it. Subscribe, like, share, do all that stuff. It really helps us out. And then you won't miss any of the new stuff that's coming. So, second thing on the list. Item number two, uh, we stopped by Ruger and look at their product, the 22 project that we have on the site. Um, we checked out the Mark IV and, uh, you know, they changed a couple of things. They updated uh, how you take it apart, um, which is by far better than before, Absolutely. we believe. Um, another product that Ruger had was their silencer, is the SR22. Yeah. And uh, the combination of the pistol and the silencer looked really nice. Uh, the can is titanium with the stainless steel insides. You guys will be able to see that video and the, the upcoming review that we're going to do about uh, another company that we want to talk about number three on tire knife company has a couple of versions of their knives that we thought were very interesting they've been in business for over 100 years so what an incredible legacy they have on knives um, both for home and outdoor use um, real quick their hunter plus knives they have the hp drop point and the hp skinner you see them there and then a couple of other knives that they gave us a little bit of an introduction were the SPA Machete and the SPA Survival. So those are knives that we're going to be able to have on our review queue. We're going to uh, use them and uh, give you guys an in-depth uh, op opinion of their performance. Yeah, we'll put up a video. We, uh, I'm not a knife expert. Jose Warren, not a knife expert. We got that uh, Chris is pretty good yeah, at knives. Chris is pretty good. Uh, but he wasn't with us. So because it's a little bit out of our expertise. We had one of their guys shoot some, uh, we shot some video with him uh, explaining those products. And they're neat because they're American made knives, but they're priced more like the imported stuff other brands have from China. So yeah. really neat deal there. Check out the Ontario Knife Company site. We'll put a link down in the, uh, in the description of this video. So click on that, go check them out. Let us know what other products you'd like us to review from Ontario Knife Company because you know they're waiting for us to send kind of a shopping list of here are the things our viewers would like you to review and then they'll send the product we'll check them out let you know what we think okay number four six hour six hour uh, they give us an in-depth uh, look intro to one of their new uh, ammunition um, items that they have developed and this has already been created everybody knows that it's out there the 300 blackout but they truly devoted the time and assets to making it better and making it better both for the officers and for the military usage but however that becomes an incredible impact to all of us hunters so you're, you're getting in a lot of detail don't spoil it because yeah. bud is the executive vp of the ammo division at six hour and he and I got together in one of the little filming booths in the six hour compound of SHOT Show. And uh, he gave me the full background on how this 300 blackout subsonic V crown ammunition came to be, how they've tested it, what it can be used for. All that information is in that video. So again, subscribe so you get notified when that pops up and you don't miss it. Last thing, I want to talk about range finders. Range finders. So there's a couple of approaches. Different companies have come up with their different uh, items. Uh, we were at the SIG range day, and uh, there's a little bit of a video and information, and we have some um, footage of their 
Kilo 2400. Kilo 2400 ABS, it's Advanced Ballistic Systems, is a company that provided the ballistic data that's yeah. paired with it in a smartphone app. We already talked about this one in another video. We'll get one to review here soon. But now, somewhat tied into that one, we stopped by the ATM booth and... In the ATM booth, they had the um, their version of the rangefinder a little bit different than the SIG. The SIG had the environmental sensors built into it. ATN didn't put the environmental sensors on the rangefinder itself because they're in the smart scope. So if you're using an ATN smart scope for thermal, like the, um, the Excite for the scope that does day and night vision, or you're using one of their thermals, they got a bunch of those, um, you have connectivity between the rangefinder and then that scope where the scope has those sensors. So your temperature, and you know altitude and i'm not sure if, if that one does barometric pressure but anyhow they're there it integrates through their proprietary ballistic calculator to change the point of impact you know to change the um within the reticle it moves the dot that you aim with an honorable mention i'm going to call it honorable mention I, let's just call it a mention something i saw that was cool that i thought i'd share with you from gilboa they call it the ddr snake it's a dual barreled ar-15 no idea personally i have no idea why they do this if you have an idea leave us a comment um, if you're from gilboa send me a note let me know why you have made a dual barrel ar-15 i was walking by i stopped took the picture that you know i'm sharing here now and uh just thought it was neat and bizarre looking yeah kind of like the dp12 but we don't know why uh, if the, might, the answer might be why not <laughs> yeah could be uh, last thing I want to mention, I want to thank the folks at Tough Products, so T-U-F-F products.com, go check out their site. Uh, they have this camera bag on there, and uh, the reason I'm showing you a camera bag is because while talking to them earlier in the week at their booth uh, about some marketing stuff, because that's, that's my day job, I don't do this full time, I help brands with affiliate programs. We may do one for Tough Products, we may not, I don't know, but that's what we were talking about. And looking at some stuff in the catalog, and I mentioned, oh, that looks like a neat camera bag. I could use a camera bag. And she said, really? I got an extra one. You want to use it this week? Then you can tell people about it. So I did. Used it uh, all day Friday. Worked out really well. Held my uh, Nikon camera and my action camera and some spare lens and battery stuff. And what was really nice for a trade show, if you've been to something like SHOT Show or the NRA show, you know, you wear a backpack and you get in booths and you're looking at things and it's so crowded that you're banging the bag into people as you turn around and it pisses people off. I got so many dirty looks during the week because uh, while the first tactical day and a half backpack is wonderful it's for great. a lot of reasons, it's huge, especially it's when you jam it full of stuff. I was knocking over stuff, so tried this, was able to use it I could hang it in front if I was moving around where I'd knock something over and back, swing it back here when I'm walking and it's crowded. Really uh, worked out well, so tough products, thank you, we appreciate it. I keep asking you to like, subscribe, share, there are a lot of reasons. We're going to have more reviews on stuff for the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. We've got more reviews coming for SHOT Show, uh, things we haven't edited yet, so stick around, it's on the way. See you at the range.